Yeah, this is just for all of you guys. Um, against Buffalo, you guys made 10 threes on, on 20 shots, and today you guys had uh, nine points, I think, on, on 37% or, or close to that uh, shooting from deep. What do you think has improved, has helped with the improvements from deep for you guys? Um, is it with the play, or is it just shots kind of following? I think it starts on um, ball movement, and I think we just take better shots. I think um, we get the ball moving, just our decision making on when to shoot, is, I think it's increasing. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Our, our, our shot selection, if, you're, if it's an extra pass, it's usually going to go in. And that's, you can see us, when we, every extra pass we pass, it goes in the basket. I would say the same thing they said. Um, I just feel like tonight we moved the ball better and we got better shots. For Chrislyn and Tisha, just you guys kind of driving into the basket and then kicking it out to Najee or, or some other shooters to um, be able to shoot from deep. Was that something that you guys strategized before the game, or how do you think you guys were able to, you know, attack inside but then also kick out as well? Um, I would just say it's something we do. We trust our players to make shots, and we know Najee can make shots. She's one of the best shooters on the team. So just really just comes down to trust. Same. Uh, for Chrislyn, this is back-to-back -back games now with 20 points. Why do you think things are clicking now? Um, I would say my teammates. I can't do it without my teammates. Um, we're sharing the ball really well, and we're just taking the right shots. A lot of energy this game. You guys outstole them by, like, 8 to 1 or something. Was that something that you came into the game with a focus on, or is that just how the pace was flowing? I mean, I, I just, you... <sighs> In the kindest words, it's just you know who you're playing, and, and you have to just remember the caliber that you're at. We had to hold ourselves to that standard and remember that we had to play at that level. Yeah, what's something Coach Reed kind of told you guys to, I guess, kind of bring things back to, you know, you know, to, to kind of forget about, um, you know, going from the Bahamas and just kind of closing it and just kind of playing a complete game, kind of uh, reemphasizing uh, kind of that speed that you guys seem to play. I would just say um, in the game of basketball, you have to have a short memory. You have to be able to forget about it and come to play next game. And I just believe that we did that tonight, and we showed, and we're back in the winning column, and we're just going to keep building on that. That's sort of a question for all of you guys, and I know it's affecting the forwards a little bit more than maybe the guards, but the injuries are sort of mounting up for this team. How is it affecting you guys on the court? Um, of course we miss um you know, we need everybody on the court. But we just been, I'm going to say lucky, but we're majority guards, so we have the ability to play multiple positions. So I think that helped as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, kind of bouncing off that. I, I was just thinking that we've been low numbers since the beginning of the year. You know, we've had to fight with losing players and, and X, X, Y, and Z. So uh, we've been digging in in terms of uh, numbers. So it's, it's nothing we haven't seen before. Yeah, um, and then this is just for all three of you guys. You guys are also set up in the way you guys run the zone. Uh, Teach is always in the middle. You throw on the side. <laughs> when did that kind of chemistry, I know you two were talking about this after um, your guys' last home game, but um, with Chrislyn as well. When does that chemistry kind of work together? How do you guys kind of divvy up who's getting what part of the court? Okay, um, <laughs> so I go back to our ability to play multiple positions, and it's literally communication. It's communication and just playing together. Yeah, we, we have a system. It, we can see it in practice. We kind of have this thing in practice, and then we just roll it over right to the game, and the three of us kind of have this thing. I don't even know what it is, but we have it. I don't know. I wish I could explain it. <laughs> yeah, I would say the same thing. They said um, it comes down to communication and trust. You have to trust that um, the next person is going to be, a, be there to help you. How do you think that defense has been able to turn into offense, specifically from three? It seems like you guys were sealing the ball, but then, you know, slowing it down a little bit to get shooters open and then taking those shots. Shot selection. Yeah. And anytime you turn the ball over in a press, nobody really wants to play defense after. So when they turn it over, we know we have to take advantage of that opportunity. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.